What's up all you rockin' dudes and dudettes, Toysh is here, and I got another one of my top hottest action figures for the week of October 26th. Man, oh man, it's been quite the week, especially towards the end, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so many awesome things found, so let's get into it really fast, because we have a lot of ground to cover, and you got a lot of toys to find this coming weekend. First up, we're going to be heading to Target stores for a number of exclusives. Number one on our list is the Frankenstein monster from Mego. This is Wave 2. He's hitting now. But surprise, surprise, as found by Instagram user at Kylo Ren and Stimpy in Washington, he found the face of the screaming werewolf, the brand new movie monster from Mego Wave 3. So that is hitting now as well. Again, he found it in Washington and it is looking oh so Rad. Next up for exclusives, NECA. This is a re-release of an old Walmart, uh, well, I guess you could say, I wouldn't say exclusive, but just that's where they had it. I think it was kind of all over the place, but Target's got it now. It's the Terminator Endoskeleton. It's going to set you back 20 bucks, and it can be found in the usual NECA section. So it's not the $28 mark. It's the 20 It's got a little bit less accessories and such, but it's still a nice figure. Also hitting this week, well, at least it hit on line first. I believe this should be in and around possibly this weekend into next, but at least by the end of this month. This is the Target exclusive Marvel Legends Into the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales, and Gwen Stacy 2-pack. I did a review for it today, actually, so if you want to check it out, it's also on my YouTube channel. Fairly nice set, just kind of hits the mark in terms of promoting the Into the Spider-Verse movie. And if you watch my review, you will see why. 40 bucks is going to set you back. Check it out. You can also get it on Target.com as of right now. I think it's only a ship to store sort of deal. I don't know if they're actually delivering it. But go ahead, go to Target.com and check it out and grab yourself one if you'd like. Target and heading next door into Walgreens. This is the Hasbro Transformers Power of the Primes. Rec Gar exclusive. You're going to find him for $18. He's hitting a lot more prominently now. People that are into the Transformers and everything are finding him rather easily. I don't know if this is one that people are clamoring for per se, but if you are like me and you have collected the entire Power of the Primes collection so far, I'm definitely after this guy. So if you find him, let me know where you got him because I'm looking for him in San Diego. Hopping into our cars and heading on down the street, we're going to be heading towards GameStop. Now, I've never been a big fan of GameStop recently, especially with their prices and their methods and all that kind of good stuff. However, they are having a fairly decent sale, both in-store and to a certain degree online. It's about a 20-25% discount, and it's on all the action figures. It's taken directly at the register. It's not going to be something that's widely talked about when I went and got my Archangel price listed or fixed, basically. They didn't even know that the sale was going on, and I got there late in the day on the first day where it started. So shout out to everyone who let me know about this, especially. But if you go online, you can also order the specific action figures, and you'll see them at a lower price, or you can go in store. So first and foremost, you can grab the Archangel figure. I bought him the day before, took him back. They price adjusted, so that was really nice as well. You can also pick up the McFarland Toys Stranger Things Barb exclusive. She's a fantastic figure. Also was able to grab her. She was 20 reduced down to $14.99, so that ain't too shabby. Then in keeping with the Stranger Things motif, there is also a McFarland Toys 4-pack of the four kids in their Ghostbusters uniforms. This is actually one of my top, top action figure wants for the year. Can't wait to find this. I actually reserved it at my local store, so I will be picking that up. Hopefully tomorrow weekend, they're pretty cool about holding it for me. So I, I do appreciate that GameStop. I hope you guys know that it's just that sometimes it's kind of dumb with their pricing and everything and i just don't agree with it another one you can hope to pick up at gamestop for the reduced price is the kind of ridiculously priced the aim soldier two pack from marvel legends it's an army builder also did a review if you want to go ahead and check it out on my youtube channel it's a nice set of figures but i don't exactly agree with the $50 price point you do get a slew of accessories however i'm going to leave that to you but if you can find it on sale then that is even better. There's also a number of things that I picked up as well. The other day I got the World of Nintendo, the green Koopa Shell paratrooper. I, I really like this character and I, I knew that I have the red one. I was just been looking for the green one. So I spotted him as well. $11.99 knocked down to $8.99. And for you pop heads out there, there's going to be a number of exclusives and pops and everything. Those are also on sale. 
And if you can get lucky, there is also the Marvel Legends Vintage Collection Wave 2 being found. A number of people have found them in their Texas GameStop so far. So, if you can get out there, the $22.99 minus that 20-25%, whatever it really is, it's kind of, it's a weird percentage off. Anyways, it's within that realm. But, hey, some percentage off is better than nothing. So, if you can find this brand new Wave at a reduced price, hey, you're going to be in good standing. But, I don't anticipate this Wave 2 being too hard to find. It is just hitting now. GameStops do have, an, you know, exaggerated prices. So, Expect them to hit Walmart, Target, Walgreens, all that good stuff, just as they did last year. And some of them are still sitting on the shelf, or you can get them from Amazon, just FYI, when they do actually become more readily available. And like I had said previously, GameStop, the prices are going to be reduced at the register in-store, or you can go ahead and order your things online, so if you have to pay the shipping price... Or you can just have them ship to store or see if they're in stock. That way you know before you go, and that way you don't waste a lot of gas. Now, for many of us on the West Coast, we don't have Think Geeks in our malls and in our shopping centers. However, if you do, and you're lucky enough to find these, the brand new Funko Savage World, the Thundercats action figures are hitting. Special shout out to at Not Another Retro channel on Instagram and on YouTube. Definitely go check out his channel. He has a great YouTube thing going on. Definitely, definitely watch all his finds and hunts. He finds some rad, rad stuff. Always jealous of your stuff. I have to tell you what. He found the new Lino and the Mumra figures. You can also find Panthro and Slythe from that wave, and they are looking fantastic. A little pricey at GameStop for $14.99 a piece. I do believe if you were to be kind of patient with these, you could definitely get them off Amazon. They're also going to be $14.99 on that as well. However, Target and possibly Walmart. Don't quote me on that. We have to wait and see exactly what shows up inside Walmart's new, you know, entertainment section, whatever they're trying to call it. But anyways, maybe wait, maybe hold off unless you absolutely have to have these. But they are looking fantastic and I, for one, am very stoked to finally, finally pick these up. And also at Think Eek, finally what's hitting is the Star Wars The Black Series, the Dengar figure. Now, this figure has been found in New York City and in Texas so far. So they are hitting their $22.99. They were available on Amazon uh, earlier, maybe, was it like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, they were at the $19.99 price. He's not an exclusive to Think Geek by any means. He's just hitting there a little bit early. But if you want to wait, Target, Walmart, eventually they will get these figures. However, if you're in the area, if you're a Star Wars nut, gotta get them. Go grab them from Think Geek and... Yeah, you'll be you'll be one up on the, on the whole Bounty Hunter game, that's for sure. Making our way out of Think Geek and walking up towards the food court right next door, you're going to find the Disney store. And from there, you're going to try and find your brand new Zuckus Star Wars The Black Series exclusive figure. This was originally found by Dan Emons at StarWarsCollector.com. He says on the website that they were able to kind of sort of ask and they pulled it from the back. They're, I guess, starting a new planogram. Anyways, you can head over to StarWarsCollector.com and find out all the more information on how to obtain one. However, if you make your way to the Disney store, be sure to ask and hopefully you can find your Zuckus exclusive and complete your Darth Vader squad of death. Making your way over to Amazon, or you can go to the Amazon store, whichever fits your fancy better, but I'm talking about the brand new, just announced, Funko Disney Afternoon Wave 2. This is the Gizmo Duck. Everyone has been wanting for years and years to have a Gizmo Duck figure, and Funko finally heard your wails and nerdy cries. They're going to be putting one out coming soon, but you can go ahead and pre-order it for a rather early release. So, Go ahead and do that. It's about $9.99, $12.99. So if you want to go ahead and grab one, head over to Amazon right now and go get your order in. And just before I end this video, this is a little bit of an extreme kind of thing. However, if you head to TJ Maxx, you might be in luck. Shout out to Undercover Toy Boy on Instagram who came across a rather unique find. This is the 2001 World of Springfield, The Simpsons, like Playmates and Teletronic action figures. He came across an entire wave. They're $12.99. If you can find them, definitely, definitely grab them. That was amazing. Such a cool find to have for such a weekend endeavor. Like I said, if you're around to TJ Maxx, if you want to try your luck, it's not going to be probably every store, but you know if one got them, 
others got them as well. So you might just find something cool. Anyways, that's going to end my list for the top hottest action figures for the week of October 26th. For everyone that didn't get a chance to go out and hunt this week for your favorite action figures, this is your list. Now you have your mission. Go out and find everything and anything that you desire for your Detolf shelf. And when you do, you got to write in to Toyshiz and let me know so I can tag you up on my story so that everyone can see where everyone's finding every little thing and that helps pinpoint exactly where to find their particular action figures so i'm going to leave you with that i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend if you guys are in and around la try and hit up the la comic con i will be there so stop by and say hello if you are as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly find some fantastic action figures like all of them that i have mentioned on this list and when you do let me know what you found i will talk to you guys soon adios